first spring game. Did it feel a lot different than actual you know, practices, scrimmages? How did it feel if there was actually like a, like a decent amount of fans out? Yeah, for sure. Uh, that really felt like a game. Uh, despite how many fans was out there, it really felt like a game to me, man. We had on the real game jerseys. Uh, I ain't been in a spring game yet because I had went through some complications at Oregon, but that was my first spring game I was in, and that really felt like a real game. And I'm just glad I got out. I'm glad I got out there and played and played well. You got a lot of touches today. Yeah. Uh, I guess how do you feel like you mixed in well with the offense? Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm mixing in well. I'm getting the plays down right. Uh, I feel like it's a good switch up with Toa going in, running people over, and then I'm going in doing my shifty stuff. So, I mean, I think I'm going in good. I just need to keep going in my playbook, keep working on my fundamentals, and keep getting better as an athlete. Is there something that you wanted to showcase in today's game? Because you have that carryover with Coach Mastro and Coach mm -hmm. Wilson from Oregon, but I imagine a lot of people here might not know, you know what you bring to the table. Yeah. Uh, I just really want to show people that how shifty I was despite my height. Uh, you know, because people make a lot of – first impressions to when they see my height and everything. I was like, oh, he can't run the ball. Oh, he's too small or anything like that. Well, I hope I showed today where I can, I can run it. It doesn't matter how high you are or how, how much you weigh and everything like that. If you can run the ball, you can run the ball. What were some of the goals from the running back group or even the team as a whole entering today? Um, for the running back group, it was just hold on to the ball, uh, catch passes out to the tuck, um, no missed assignments, just really getting our plays down getting our fundamentals right and just being together as a team together for sure. How do you think this now today gives you guys some, some motivation now as you head into the summer before you get back mm -hmm. to the pads again in August? I think today was a good view of how good we can be and we can even be really, really even better and so I think everyone sees that and everyone's just hyped up and ready for the fall and ready for get back get it, get back to workouts and everything like that because everyone sees how great we can be in Nevada and so I'm, I'm ready for it. I can't. I can't wait. Do you guys think, as a running back group, that you accomplished some of what you wanted to this spring? I mean, it was just practice. Mm -hmm. but yeah. You yeah. Of course. Uh, we all did good. Uh, Jock, Wesley, Toa, Tay, everybody. We all did good as a group. And then I, I can't be more proud of them guys. I'm so happy for them too. And then I'm just, I'm thankful for them for, oh, welcoming, welcoming me with open arms and just letting me get the playbook right and everything like that. Just teach me the offense overall. What do you want to see happen between now and when you guys pick up fall camp in August? Um, just, I mean, I just want us to get better, better every day. Uh, that's our model here. And then we, we just don't settle for less. We don't settle for anything. So if we get better one day, we got to get better the next. And we're going to get better the next. And we're going to get better the next. So that's the only thing I'm looking forward on right now. Ross, getting a full camp under your belt, I mean, do you feel like now, I mean, that helps you be just a part of the pack? I mean, I, I'm here, I did a full camp, you know, I'm ready to go. Does that help? Yeah, uh, it really helped with going through a full spring, but uh, I'm just really focused on getting these workouts done, going to fall camp and getting better. So I could just show more people what I can do if they're not already convinced. So, yeah.